Welcome to the Do More Podcast, where we share strategies and tips for improving your life in every aspect. Here's your host, John Farling. All right, welcome back to the show. Today I want to talk about giving, and obviously with the holidays around and when this episode uh, releases, uh, should release on Christmas Day. So with that, <clears throat> this is the season of giving, and unfortunately, I don't think we're really taught that we should be giving at all times, right? You know, we hear the season of giving, and that's great. It's great that there's at least a season of giving, uh, but how much are you really giving during that season? Um, I know the more that I give, and it's not just money. Um, sometimes it's time to other people. Sometimes it's knowledge. Sometimes it's just an ear. Um, uh, but you've got to, you've got to give at all times. Right. And, and I've talked about this in, in past shows where the more you give, the more you get back. And that shouldn't be, I don't want that. That's, that shouldn't be the main reason to give. Can that be a reason? I, I do believe, you know, yeah. You know, don't expect like, Hey, I just gave hundred dollars to charity. I should get a thousand dollars back within 30 days. You can't expect it. Um, should it be something that you're aware of? Yeah, but don't expect that just because I donated my my money, my time, resources, whatever it is, that you're going to get something back. Is that a, an after product, byproduct of, of giving? Absolutely. So I want to talk a little bit more about um, you know why you should give. And again, one, you can give money. And I try to do this at least monthly. And I've been trying to increase it every year over the past probably, oh, uh, I don't know, I'd say eight to 10 years probably. I've been giving um, some type of money to charities over the past decade. And I've been trying to increase that amount every year, which I would say past five years I've done that. And I remember a um, growing up, I don't remember what spawned it, but it was my uh, my mom's side of the family that. All the aunts, my, my mom's got three sisters, so there's um, it's a bigger ish type family. And you know, with all the cousins, I don't remember how many cousins, eight, ten cousins, whatever it is. And there's just a ton of people that you know each family would have to buy gifts for. So finally, um, someone brought up the idea, why don't we just take our money instead of giving everybody gifts? And maybe it wasn't the kids, maybe it was just for the adults, but take the the money that we give that we would spend on gifts and give that to a, a charity. And I don't know how old I was, 10, 12, 14 years old, I have no idea. But that stuck with me, and I think that's important, right? Um, and, and again, it's great to do that around Christmas, around the holidays, but why don't we do that at all times, right? Um, why don't we do that in February, March, every single day of our lives? Um, you can give, again, talking right now about money, you can give money, you can give $5, to charity and it makes a dent, it makes an impact. Um, and then try to increase that over time, right? Try to, you know, maybe six months from now, now you can give $10 a month. Um, I think I've heard people say, you know, they try to give 10% of their income, try to give 10% of their income. Can you give 25%? I just saw a, uh, a real estate influencer <clears throat> had uh, Tim Tebow at his event and, um, the, the group that this real estate influencer just started, actually, I think it's been around for a little bit because um, it looks like it's actually a decent sized group. Um, no, I take that back. This was his first year because he did say that he didn't expect the first year to actually make money and they made money. They made six figures, like mid six figures, apparently. And they gave whatever money they made, whatever they profited for the year to Tim Tebow's charity, whatever his charity is, which is awesome. Um, obviously this real estate influencer has other vehicles where he's making money to where he doesn't have to pull any money out of this, um, this mastermind, this group that he's built, but it's just powerful to how, you know, putting a, a group of people together and then having a strong leader that has a vision and wants to give more and, and give money back. And, and that's just an awesome thing. Um, want to talk about, you can also give your time. Right. And I'm going to talk in, in a few minutes here about how I want to give my time and a special uh, limited time uh, offer that I'm that I'm offering here for uh, for my time. But give your time to somebody and you don't have to be an expert in anything. But there are definitely people out there that 
especially with, you know, and I didn't think about this before I started recording, but, you know, the past three years, I think has probably been tough for a lot of people. And I don't know if a lot of people have recovered from just with COVID being at home, working from home, you know, a lot of people just, you know, call, call a buddy up, call a friend up and, and go to lunch with somebody, um, call them up, talk on the phone for a little bit. Um, just giving your time, right? I think it's important to give money. And I think it's important to give your time and, and time can be, you know, as simple as just reaching out to a friend that you haven't talked to in a while, a uh, family member, whatever it is. Um, and that, that plays into, you know, just listening to somebody, um, you know, and sometimes that turns into you sharing your knowledge too. And, you know, I, I'm not an expert in anything. I don't consider myself an expert, but we all have something that we can share. All of us do. And to tie into that, to kind of wrap this up, because I, I don't think I could keep rambling on about giving, but everyone gives in their own way. Everyone gives a different amount of money. Uh, but I do think giving time and giving money and resources, I guess is a third thing that I didn't really talk about. Giving resources um, is huge. And in a way that I think I'm giving resources is I'm trying to grow my team um, as far as my self-storage uh, business. And I'm trying to create more opportunities for them. So I'm trying to create resources and opportunities and, and, uh, and that looks different for everybody. Uh, but those three things, give money, give time, give resources. And, uh, uh, you know, the world would be a much better place, but to parlay into that, um, what I want to do, uh, we'll see how many people actually take me up on this. Um, this episode is going to be released Christmas day. I'm going to give it a week and whoever reaches out to me, and you have to go to my website, which is l4investing.com. So it's letter L, number four, investing.com. Go to the contact page, um, fill it out. I will give you my time. And again, I'm not considering myself any type of expert, um, but could I be helpful with maybe underwriting a self storage deal? Possibly. Um, maybe, you know, you maybe you just want to bounce some ideas off somebody. Um, Maybe you've been looking or stuck in a rut with your nine to five, whatever it is. You know, a lot of times I think we're, we are, I don't, maybe sometimes scared, reluctant to reach out to people and talk about issues or questions that we may have. So here's an, here's an open invitation. Um, we'll see how many people I get, but would love to hear from you. Would lo love to help out whoever I can. And again, if it's something easy, awesome. Um, if it's feedback for the show, great. I'd love to hear that too. Um, but yeah, any type of thing that I can help you with, um, my guess is probably a lot of people that listen to this are entrepreneurs um, or some type in personal growth or self-storage. So maybe related to that, would love to help out any way I can, um, even if I don't have the answers or can ask the right questions to get you there. I may have a resource that I can point you in the right direction and send you to somebody else. So again, reach out to me before January 1st. That's when this offer expires. Um, L4investing.com, fill out the contact form, reach out to me, and uh, I'll see how much I can help you guys. Again, thank you for listening. Have great holidays. Have a great Christmas. Enjoy time with your family. And uh, again, thanks for listening. Thanks for following, subscribing, and listening to this episode of the Do More podcast hosted by John Farling. To learn more or ask questions, go to l4investing.com.